Hallo Klickenabendler, wir sind bei Horrible Games und wir haben neue Games, die will come out in Essen, I guess. Ja, yeah, actually before than that, we are planning to release it in a few months. Oh, yes. So in the middle of the year. Yes, in the middle of the year, because this year we have a lot of games planned, not only one. So we will have games for Essen, but this will also be available in Essen, of course, but it will be released a little bit earlier. Okay. And we have two boxes, one yes. blue, one orange. Yes, orange or red. <laughs> This is not a very good printing, but it's just a prototype. Yes, two boxes because uh, um, each of the each of them will come with uh, the basic game and two sort of expansions, but they are already included. So two additional rules. They are different from the two boxes. And the good thing is that with one single box you can play from one to six players. But if you own both, you can play with up to 12 players. And actually, for the, how the game works, uh, the more boxes you have, the more players you can play with, because there's no limit. And you, you have then two expansions as well? Yes, each one of them, I, when you play with... Uh, with um, If you have more boxes, you can choose which one of the expansions you want to play with. Okay. So, how does the game work? How does it work? Each player has, this is just a prototype, the real one will be thicker, uh, has one of these uh, uh, erasable boards, so you can draw on them and then, then they can be erased. Uh, your goal is to connect these uh, routes that lead to cities so you have to connect these cities by drawing uh, railroads and highways uh, and connect them the more cities you connect the more points you will make and there are also uh, more points to be made for the longest route for the longest railroad uh, and if you occupy the spaces at the center and and so on there are many ways the main mechanic works like this the base game has These four dice, they are, they are not all the same. Um, they are, there is only one set and uh, they are rolled in the middle of the table. This determines the pieces that the players have available for the, the, the current round. So each one has to draw, in this case for example there is a, a railroad curve, a straight railroad, a straight um, highway and a, a crossroads between a, a rail, railroad and a highway. So uh, you must always place them connected some, to something so I cannot just draw something in the middle. But just to show you an example I could draw... Oops. <laughs> I could draw this piece here. Now I can uh, place this straight here and this curve here. These are not uh, connected yet because the crossroads is not a connection. I have uh, there are stations that change allow you to change from route to um, highway. to highway or vice versa uh, I have to draw a straight I will draw it here okay and all players will be doing this uh, at the same time with the same dice uh, hidden behind the little screen when everybody is done you write your the, um, the number of the round uh, You, we are playing so that you remember that these are old pieces and then when you draw new ones they are new ones and you are easy it's easy to remember that when everybody has drawn the the, the, the roots for this current round the dice are rolled and a new round is uh, is began now for example I could draw this this T section here and use this straight here to finally connect these two cities. These two cities are now connected. Uh, I want to uh, connect this city too. So what can I do? I can uh, draw this curve here and then I can use this station to convert this railroad into a, uh, a street 
the real pens we will use in the game will be a bit thinner, so it will be a bit easier to draw. Uh, I have drawn my symbols for this round again. <laughs> And my plan is to somehow connect these two ends in the next round. Let's see if I am lucky. No, only railroad this time. But you get the idea. Uh, all players have to try to optimize the, the routes they draw with the same... Uh, they nice. have the same pool, so uh, it's a very fair game. Everybody has the same chances to win. Um, and the other good thing uh, uh, this setup allows is that, uh, as I was saying before, there is no limit to the number of players. The only limit is the number of boards that you have. Because it's enough that one player tells the others, uh, we have uh, um, a curve, a straight railroad, a T-section railroad, and a crossroads. So even if you didn't see the dice, you are, in a, you are playing with the 12 people and not everybody's at the table, someone is at the sofa. Now I know what these are the symbols I have to draw, so when I draw them I can just erase them and I can play um, whenever, wherever I want in the room. You can play with uh, 32 people and uh, show the, the, the you, you have um, a camera that points on the dice and you project it on the wall and uh, a lot of people can play. So this is, it allows to play with a lot of people like a party game but it's not a party game, it's a, it's a strategy game where you have to think a strategy and try to um, accomplish it. So what's the difference between that edition and the other one? Uh, the difference between these two, as I was saying, is that there are expansions included that I did not use in the expansion now. In the explanation, sorry. The blue one is the, the boards are actually the same. The, the, it's just a different color to help you remember which one is from which copy. But the blue one is called the, um, the no, we don't know the name, but it has rivers. So these two, you, you roll these dice together with the other four. And uh, in addition to the regular routes, you also have to take into account a river. And your goal is to um, complete the river because one thing I didn't mention is that at the end of the game for each uh, open end that you leave uh, you get minus points. points yes so and this is also true for the river so uh, it makes the game a little bit more difficult because uh, you have to connect the routes but you also have to deal with the river and if uh, there is a river here I cannot send uh, a route anymore on top of it. The only way I have, I can uh, make routes go over the river is to use one of the appropriate faces from the river dice. Then we also have in the blue one the lake dice. Uh, lakes work a little bit like Carcassonne cities, so you have to try to close them. But there, in, on some faces, there are also. Uh, routes that enter inside the lake with stations so all the uh, streets or railways that enter into the la same lake are then considered connected by ferry so you can you have to try to close the lake to make points but it also helps you to connect more cities uh, together this is for the uh, blue version. The red version is uh, more catastrophic, let's say. It has uh, a meteor. You roll the dice and uh, it tells you where the meteor strike moves from the previous spot and how much space, the direction and how many spaces it moves because it's... Um, destroying? Uh, yes, it's destroying. It, it, it can destroy spaces or eliminate places that you have already written and then there is the volcano which also works a bit like Carcassonne cities uh, it does not connect and you have to avoid it at all costs but there are also phases with uh, routes that go near it so you can push your luck 
and try to uh, move uh, next to the lake of lava because it maybe it helps you to connect uh, your uh, your um, your cities but then if you plan to uh, curve around and this happens this means that another uh, piece of lava will must go to here to close the lake so you must hope to have a second uh, route so it makes the game a bit more complicated in, the, in this case when you play with more copies you only choose one uh, special rule not uh, more so uh, you can choose which one you uh, the one you like the, the basic the extra dice most but if you have more than one copy you can increase the number of players that's the idea of the and the, it is intended to be a very cheap game we yes we the price we are aiming for currently is like 15 euros or something for each box so it's not that expensive to have uh, more than one so it's a smallish game that we want to release uh, soon in the year that's and included will be english italian german rules yes, yes we think this game will uh, release simultaneously in uh, at least english italian german probably spanish and french all right looking forward to it thanks and i we hope you will like it when it comes out